All right, I'm gonna do a quick uh, overview on how to clean the radiators of your Porsche Boxster. Um, this one might be hard to tell, but there's there are a couple leaves in there. There's definitely some in the other uh, in the other inlet. Um, to do this, I'm gonna jack up the car and remove the wheels so that I can get to a couple bumper bolts. Uh, we'll start by popping out the uh, turn signal indicators. You just pull them out from the back and then pull them, pull the back out and then pull them backwards as shown. Then unplug them and there will be uh, some screws inside and that's where we will start. So to remove the um, side marker, just go ahead and give the lights uh, a little twist. Um, I believe it's a... Uh, should just be like 60 degrees one way or the other. Um, or you could also unplug it. It's probably easier to twist it though. Uh, yep, so that's step one. And then we're going to get to the Phillips head there. And there's one uh, going into this um, little cliff nut that we're gonna pull the fender liner back to reach. All right, so with the side marker out and the little Phillips uh, with a captured washer on either side removed, uh, I'm gonna peel back the fender liner just a bit. See if I can stage this well. Um, just to get the, just to get that inner screw out. <clears throat> There's one. There's two. If it'll come. Be a little more stubborn. Right, I think it'll... There we go. Okay, so this these are different. Someone probably replaced this. Um, looks like we also have a couple of Phillips underneath. So. Looks like to get this out, we're gonna go under here and looks like the wheel's definitely been rubbing. That's what this is. Uh, gonna go under here. It looks like one, two, uh, those are part of it. I think just those two Phillips. Uh, we'll remove those and then see if we can get the fender liner down. All right, so it looks like I also have to remove this little uh, clip from underneath the front of the bumper. And, uh, this one seems a little tricky. It's kind of nestled up in its own little, it's a little spot here. I can remove this fully. There we go. There's two screwdrivers and it came right out. All right, so with, uh, let's see, with this loosened, um, and then the screw up here and that clip loosened, you can remove the bottom of the fender liner from the bumper. Um, then I'm gonna go ahead and peel it out from behind the fender going up and around. Then we'll be able to access that screw um, up behind the bumper. All right, so this should be easy enough. Usually these are, all right, yeah, so there we go. So up in there, I'll try to get the light. There should be a screw that will end. Right, so sure enough, uh, if I peel this back, there's a little screw right there in focus and we will undo that all right so with that screw out i'm going to go ahead and remove one two three more screws across the bottom and then uh one more clip over there and another screw for the uh far um wheel arch liner and uh it'll go up top there are a couple more screws um and then we should be able to get this thing off all right so just two more uh, screws that I forgot. There's a Phillips tucked up in a little pocket uh, just ahead of the wheels on both sides. So there's one Then the other pocket. Uh, it's different from the pocket in the um, in the fender liner. Uh, this one is actually from the bumper to the uh, bumper support bracket. So make sure you undo those as well. All right, so the bottom of the bumper is all loose. I'm going to go ahead and undo these. Uh, these are just little quarter turn. It should just be uh, 
it should come loose with just a 90 degree turn like this. Mm. Yeah, let's try it. Um, this should, should come up now. I might need two hands to uh, fry. Oh, there we go. There we go, little by little. Um, I'm gonna lose these, so I'm gonna put the camera down, but yep, just uh, quarter turn fasteners there. So once these final top uh, screws are undone, you can kind of grab the bumper by the wheel arch and start pulling it forward, and the whole thing will come loose. As you can see, uh, you will have to undo this air temperature sensor held in this boss down here. Um, actually, the bumper cover is gonna come off. We're gonna get to that once we get to the shroud. Um, so, but yeah, you can go ahead and take the bumper cover off carefully uh, once all those screws. Right, so are bumper covers off. It's on the ground over there, and now we have to remove uh, these shrouds that uh, kind of direct air. Um, these are held in by a couple T25. So there's one there, one there, one there, and then one inside, and I think that might be it. I think it's just four. Uh, I'll see if there looks like there is a fifth uh, Torx T25 right in the center of the opening right there. So go ahead and undo that one. Five total. And then, oh man. So that's why you're going to want to clean these. Huh. And then the, uh, the shroud can come off and you can access these. Um, this is the air conditioning uh, condenser up front and then the radiators behind. Um, I might pop this off. Uh, looks like two more Torx T25s just so I can lift it away and clean that. Um, but yeah, there it is. So once uh, this trim piece is off, it should just be two more little Phillips there and there. And the bumper should come off. All right, so when you get to the uh, condenser, just two Torx T25s there and then this tab, which is captured in here. And if you kind of carefully wiggle it out, I can do it with two hands. Release it from the tab. You can see all this stuff uh, clogging up the radiator behind it. Um, yep. So that's what the that's what this is to address. So I managed to take off this shroud with some of the uh, detritus still in there. So you can see really how packed up that gets, um, and you can see how much stuff is in between the. Uh, the condenser and the radiator. So yep, yeah, that's how you uh, that's how you get to the radiators to clean them out. All right, so just to uh, end the video, um, you can kind of see the dust in front of the light. But what I did is I went ahead and vacuumed everything I could uh, out of the radiator, and I actually took some compressed air and blew it through all the fins, uh, trying to blow all the stuff out. You can see where it was still a little gummed up in some spots. Um, down here, there was a fair amount of, fair amount of corrosion. So some of these fins are broken, but like a lot of it looked like, looked like that right there. Um, so it's definitely better than it was. And I could feel, I could feel uh, some pretty good airflow through the radiator. Um, so they're both, this one was a lot better the passenger side one was pretty bad. Um, I'm gonna put the condensers back in place to take the stress uh, off the lines. And then uh, I'll button this all back up.